Hello everybody, it's GB. Welcome back to a shoe haul video. I don't think I've done one of these in a while, but I just so happen to need some new shoes for events and things coming up, and a bunch of these, three of four, four of them have never been worn outside, so they're nice and clean on the bottom, and I was like, ooh, let me make a video, because I don't like doing, like, a shoe video with, like, shoes that I've worn out and about, and the, the bottoms are all crusty, and I'm like, okay, let's do it now, while they're so fresh and clean, and then I will accidentally destroy them, but, you know, it is what it is. If we're not wearing our shoes, what are they for? I know a lot of people who collect shoes that are like, mm -mm -mm, shut your mouth. Um, different shoes, very different vibes today, but that's kind of my vibe. I have a lot of genres in my closet, which requires lots of different shoes. So, let me show you what I got. I'll start off with the sneakers. So I've been really needing a casual slip-on pair of sneakers now that it's not winter anymore and I don't really have to be wearing, like, my tough boots. Um, so I was like, I really would just love nice slip-on sneakers. Like, it takes a teen to go to training or just, like, do an errand or things like that. Um, all of my sneakers are super, like, muddy, crusty, because I, like, use them when I go hiking. And so I'm like, okay, I really should get a normal pair of adult sneakers. So, I have two. The first one I have worn out and about, so I won't, like, go crazy on, like, tapping the bottoms and stuff. But I wanted to show you them. I wish I was sponsored by them. I, like, maybe I shoot them an email or something, but... Because I'm about to sound like an ad. <laughs> Kizik. Kizik. Kizik's. So I think these... Boozled me or like sucked me in from a an Instagram ad. I am so bad. They target me so hard. Um, and what I liked about them was because I was looking for slip-on shoes, their claim to fame is their heel. I don't know what they call it, but basically what sold me was that these you put your shoe your foot in without bending down at all, like you can just slide it in, and the heel <laughs> just pops back up. You don't have to like do the thing where you're like pulling the heel up behind you. Like, hands full, I'm like about to get out, walk the sateen, take her out to go potty. And I can just put them on. Like they're on my feet now. and I don't have to like adjust them or like fix the heel or fix the tongue or anything. And so I was like, all right, I'm sold. And they're just black because I figured I would use these most of the time to take the dog out. So I'm like, let me get ones that won't get dirty. But I wore them in like an airport, that kind of stuff. So again, I'm not gonna be tapping on these, like the bottoms and stuff, but I was impressed. I don't know what style this is, but it almost feels like canvas mesh. They're not like the most fashionable shoe on the planet, but they are conveniently understated. Like people aren't like, oh my god, I love your shoes, but they're like, oh, you look mildly put together and, like, neat. Sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just need that. So those are the Kizix. I do feel like they very much went for Allbirds brand, and I think that these are, I don't know if Allbirds was first, but I did get a pair of Allbirds. Okay. Again, not sponsored. Hit me up. Please, God. So, 
Here's my other pair, and these are fresh. So I had black sneakers, and I'm like, let me just get white sneakers. Boom, bam. Everyone knows white sneakers look so crispy. They really like bring your outfit together. You look so neat and nice. And they are the hardest to keep clean. So I do think I'm going to like reserve these for wearing when I truly know they're not going to get dirty. These can be my clean, white, put together, casual sneaker, you know? And then I have um, my other white sneakers. I think they're probably in like an old shoe collection video. That are like very much like worn and they, they've gotten like kind of dingy. I, I'm probably gonna try to like give them a wash. But these are made of wool. These are made of wool. And they came out a couple years ago. My brother actually was super on it. I want to say. It was like a part of, I don't know if they had a Kickstarter or something, but one year he got us all birds for Christmas, like my parents and myself, and we were like, holy crap, these are comfy. And this was the beginning of like, I feel like there's a lot of all bird knockoffs now, where like kind of same thing, people just want a comfy, casual sneaker. Super light, easy to pack, you know. Um, so I haven't had Alberts in a while. These are new. I'm like touching my face, but they're new. <laughs> and I was in Chicago and they had a, like an actual store. So I went into the store and got these. I was very excited. So soft you can wear sockless. They are fine. I guess they're wool, so I feel like that's good with like odor. And then like ramble a lot during these instead of actually like making sounds with the object, so. This is the insert. And then here's the inside, it's gray. It says all birds. White laces, white soles, just like, I just wanted the same as black, so I have like, black laces, black sole, white laces, white sole, boom. I don't have to think too hard. These don't have like the, like you'd have to actually slide these on and then like use your finger to do the heel. But you definitely um, can slide them up pretty easily. These were very nice. Okay, those were the sneakers. Then I really needed new formal shoes. Ben and I have been going to a lot of weddings recently, kind of hit that age. Um, like all of his friends are getting married. My, a lot of like, I have a huge family, so like a lot of my cousins are getting married. So it's like, I need more like formal shoes. I feel like some of my shoes are very like, I'm, I'm too old for them now. Like I, got, I have to get a more grown up shoes. You know, we have to be grown ups. Oh, by the way, Teddy Fresh. I guess while we're doing like an unofficial sponsored video while I show off all these brands, we might as well show off Teddy Fresh. Rick and Morty collab. Amazing. Um, so while we're talking about being adults, 
Um, I've always found that Steve Madden has very nice shoes. Like, I really love the aesthetic of most of Steve Madden's shoes. I am not a super fashionista. I don't know if anyone watching this is. I think Steve Madden just, like, takes shoes, I feel like, you know, most brands do, take shoes that are, like, super popular and fashionable, like, the thousands of dollars, what's that called? Um, why am I blanking so hard? Like, fashionable shoes, designer, designer brand shoes, and then makes them, like, more affordable. Uh, I feel like most of these shoes, they're not, they're definitely not, like, cheap, but it's not thousands of dollars, you know? So I'm like, okay, all right, we're good. Like, I feel like their range is more, like, a hundred dollars, um, but if you tried to buy them from, like, the original designer, it'd be, like, two thousand dollars. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we're, we're fine. Steve Madden, Good, 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 good. Um, so this is the first pair I got. I ordered a couple. And there was a nice big sale. So I got carried away. As I do. This was the first pair. And I don't have any shoes like this. What are they called? Mules? Clogs? Mules? like slip-on formal shoes and this was a bold purchase for me I think and I'm like yeah I can I can make an outfit with this I can be cool and put together and fashion forward and mature These definitely intimidate me. I've tried to make a few outfits with them so far, and I'm like, <sighs> I panic. And then I put on my see my comfort boots. So it's got this metal part here. It looks like a braid, but it is it is metal. And then it's just black with like a pretty square toe, but it tapers up, so it's not super crazy like shape wise or anything. But I really am like a boots person, so this is pretty different for me. But I was thinking it might be good for warmer weather, where I'm still trying to be like, like black and bronze gold, that kind of fancy, badass kind of vibe. Without wearing like my big stompy emo boots. But I'm not sure. I don't know what to wear with these. I feel like when I put them on, I'm like, I look stupid. So you guys will have to let me know, or maybe we'll make some outfits with them or something in a video. The other ones that I got that are, I didn't have anything like it, but I did wear them to New York City because I was on a billboard. I'll insert my little Instagram photo there. Again, unofficial sponsored video this is. Carrot, um, if you're a creator, I will put something in the description box um, because they do. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use them. Carrot cards. It's a credit card for creators. So it just has like better perks than what I was getting on like a like the the bank card that I was using before. Um, so I switched over to that and really liked it. And so they were putting like creators on billboards. Like I think Ludwig was on a billboard in LA, and they're like, "Do you want to be on the billboard in Times Square?" And I was like, "Yes." So, so um, it was just for one day, but. Uh, I went to New York City to see it conveniently. We like timed it because I was going to get a tattoo there the next day. So I was like, perfect.
perfect, perfect. Like, could you, could you do it on this day? Because I'm, I'm going to be there already. It worked out well. Very exciting. But the shoes I wore, ooh, oh no, I put it on the blanket. I, okay, I'm going to have to wash this blanket. So I was stomping around New York City in these. Um, yeah, but it was very cool. So thank you, Karen. And these are green and black Steve Madden loafers. This is what made me realize that I think that, like, like I, I saw someone post a tattoo artist, like in Italy, was in like a super high end designer store, and the shoes behind him were like had green heels like this. So I'm like, oh, I see. Must be like a designer thing right now. But aren't these so cool? Aren't these so cool? It's like a chunky heel pop of color. Reminds me a little bit of my Catholic schoolboy uniform. More loafers every day. But I really like these and they're actually quite flattering on the foot. Sometimes I feel like you know, it can make your feet look like comical, but they're very contained and I don't know, I really like them, but I'm not going to tap on them too much because like I said, Times Square, walking around, don't really want to touch the bottom of the shoes there, <laughs> but I wanted to show you because I thought they were really cool. Um, but then I was like, okay, I have a pair of black heels and a pair of tan heels, like for weddings. Boom. But I don't have, and I have a pair of black booties for, I wear them all the time. I love myself black booties um, for dresses and formal events, but I had no tan or brown booties. So I got these. These are from Aldo. Zip that up. I really like them. They do have a, again, tapered square toe. That is pretty flattering. I like it a lot. I already marked them up some now, just walking around the house. But it's kind of this smooth. It's like, it's, it's pretty light. I don't know what I'd call this. Like, I feel like camel is like, a, it's darker than that. It's very smooth, very nice feeling, faux leathery, and a nice thick heel, which makes it very easy to walk in, and no platform, which is nice for me, because if you add a platform, then I'm like, okay, this is getting out of hand for me. I can only be so tall. Zips down the side, a little bit higher on the ankle, which I think is flattering for me because my legs are so long. I tend to gravitate towards boots because it like cuts my leg off, I think in a nice way. It kind of like helps with my proportions. So I've always liked, you know, a little bit of a higher ankle. I just thought these were nice. What do you think? other pair I got from Steve Madden, like I said, I was doing this during a sale, and some of the boots that were on sale were like final, final sale, no return. So, okay, to be fair, these were very affordable, but I cannot return them and I don't think I like them. So I'm like holding them in my closet, like my some of my friends are the same size shoe as me, so like, they come over, like, do you want to try on these boots? Like, take them from me kind of thing. But, they're okay. Let me show you. I like the color a lot. I like the idea of them. 
They're very simple, but like sophisticated, smooth. Everything's the same, kind of like a rich brown. Nice high ankle, nice thick thing. But let me show you the toe. I was like, okay, we have the squared off toe. Now I need a pointy toe. However, I don't think you can tell on camera, but the point just goes like a little too far. Like it just is a bit much. Like the point should have ended like here and I would have had like a perfect boot. But I put them on and Ben was like, they're a little pointy. And I was like, they are really pointy, are they? Aren't they? So they make my foot go out much longer than what I think might be flattering. It's like in a pinch, good shoe. But I also feel like if you don't love them, it might be better to find somebody who does want them and not like wear them, keep them in the closet, never have them come out of the closet. Um, like I don't want to waste them, but I can't return them. So, I don't know. I don't know how I would get it to any of you, but if you're a women's size 9 in shoe and you want some extra pointy brown boots, I feel like shipping would cost you so like it would cost so much just to ship. So I'm like, I'll just I'll hang on to them until someone can come love them. Um, so I'm just gonna keep them in their box. Otherwise, I think the next time I do um like a donation pile, we just cleaned out all our closets and did like a big donation. But I wonder if Ben dropped it off yet. Because I could just... You know. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. Like, Maybe they're fine. Maybe they're not that pointy. I'm like... It could be somebody's style. Somebody really likes feeling like they could stab someone with their shoe. I want to say these were like $30. So I was like, okay, final sale. I'll take the risk. And the risk was there. Maybe that's why they were on sale. I want to show you how pointy they are. It's fine. They sound really nice. I also tweeted um, <laughs> about these shoes. Because I was like, okay, well, now I don't have like the dark brown boots I was looking for. Let me go look for some more boots. And I was on Sam Edelman, I think it's called. Kind of similar to Steve Madden. Um, and they had a really good sale and really cool boots. But I couldn't decide on the colors and I was like, I have choice paralysis and I hate like buying something and then not actually wearing it because I feel like I've like wasted it. So I'm trying to be more conscious about like only picking things that like definitely wear and like definitely have for a long time. So I got this in paralysis and didn't order anything else. But thank you Twitter for trying to help me pick. Okay. Okay. Put those back in their little box. There we go. Now the very last pair very cheapy pair. Um, I got it for cosplay. We're redoing the Team Rocket cosplays. I know I'm so overdue to, to do another Team Rocket ASMR video. I want to so bad. But we're redoing Team Rocket to be a little more like batty. Like definitely we're doing some like drag inspiration. Like I want James to wear like a corset underneath because like his shirt is cropped and we're, so we got like these huge boots for them these are mine these are Demonia I'm obsessed 
with their brand. I had some other ones that I used for like Bowser. Insert photo of me wearing stompy Bowser boots. But those are, um, they were unisex shoes, so the, the toe was like pretty wide and like, that's what I was going for. Like I wanted them to be very like big and stompy. For Jessie, I wanted it to be a bit more like feminine, tight, sleek, and they needed to be taller because she has like thigh highs basically. So the platform is quite big. But it does give like a little heel. I guess a little is an understatement there. And I just like all of the strap details, the little metal buckles, and then there's the big metal buckles up here. Just keep making it like more interesting. We don't actually tie these, luckily. It zips open. These are amazing. They go over my knee. I'll show you how tall I am with them on. And I'm just gonna, you know, the confidence that you get when you wear this type of shoe. is unmatched. Just hike my sweatpants up here, I guess. Okay, so I'm five foot ten standing. take a photo of all of these shoes so you guys can see. <laughs> but like, they go up to there. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a bad, can you see, you know, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Good. I'm such a good fashion vlogger. Anyway, you'll definitely see me in them because I'm gonna be wearing them for cosplays and stuff. And they fit well, like, with any time you need. Any sort of like major baddie upgrade. Big goth stompy boots. That is my solution. Okay, so that is my shoe haul show and tell. I hope you enjoyed. Um, good shoe sounds and me rambling about shoes for 30 minutes or so. I think that's the beauty of sometimes these casual ASMR videos just talking about things that are, you know, comfy, don't matter, you know. I think those sound the nicest, personally, but you tell me which ones you liked best. Well, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.